We're going to do a song now, ladies and gentlemen. This is one that I had a hand in writing. I wrote it with a good friend of mine called Mark Roberts. And uh, we have a few family pictures uh, to go along with this song. And uh, if it happens that you don't like it, because I wrote it, I'd just appreciate if you just kept it to yourselves, you know? <laughs> this is my mother and father on their wedding day. Wherever you are, I will be. Always beside you, from troubles to hide you. You are my one shining star. Forever, I'm wherever. You are. I'll walk beside you. I'll love you and guide you. If ever you're weak, I'll be strong. This promise I make you, I'll never forsake you together is where we belong so wherever you are I will be always beside you from troubles to hide you you Take hold of my hand, dear. I want you to be near when the evening of life comes my way. Should I go before you, this promise I give you, I'll be only a heartbeat away so wherever you are I will be always beside you from trouble Thank you very much. Thank you. As I said, that's some uh, family pictures. I'm sure some of you have seen them before, but any of you here tonight who have never been to see us live before? Any first timers? And is it any harm to ask you what kept you? <laughs> well, the pictures are, are very important, and, and you saw some there of our grandchildren too. Um, although they're, they're bigger than that now, and instead of two, we have three. And I have an up-to-date photo. Uh, there they are now. And uh, Olivia, Olivia was seven in the beginning of August, and Archie, the one with the devil in his eyes, uh, he was four in January, and Luke will be a year in October, and Archie and Olivia 
started back at school in P3 and P1, Archie's first date at big school yesterday. And uh, he had a great time. And uh, they were up at us a few weeks ago, up at home. And uh, before they came, I went up to Dunlow to see Jay's and I bought a couple of toys for them. And they were there ready, you know, for them. And the, oh, they were delighted with them. So the next morning, I was going to Dunlow. And Archie, they were outside. And Archie says, where are you going, Gaga? I says, I'm going up to the shop, Archie. He says, are you going to get something for me and Olivia? <laughs> he always calls her Olivia, not, you know, Olivia. And I said, no, no. I says, there's no more money now for toys. They're all gone. I says, we just have to do with what you have. So he accepted it. I don't know whether he was happy or not, but he accepted it anyway. So then a couple of days later, we were doing a concert on Arnmore Island. And um, I was getting ready. And he, he said, what are you doing, Gaga? I said, I'm going away to sing. I said, I'm going to Arnmore to sing songs in there to do a, a show. So I walked out, and then a wee, not very long after he came walking out, he says, Gaga, he says, will you get money for singing on Aaron Moore Island? <laughs> and I said, God, Archie, I says, you never know, I might get some. He says, well, will you be able to buy more toys for me and Olivia then? <laughs> so at four years of age, he has nothing to learn. He's a great wee man. Anyway, they bring us great joy, and we're, we're very blessed to have them. And uh, I'm delighted, too, to be able to tell you that in July, uh, thanks be to God, we celebrated nine years of Magella being cancer-free. So we have a lot to be grateful for. We were down in Killarney at the weekend, and God, everybody was on their holidays. Did you have any holidays this year? Yes, did. I don't know did I tell you about the the time that Paddy and Mick were sitting... Did I tell you about the night they were sitting in the pub? Mick said to Paddy, he says, Paddy, he says, have you any holidays planned this year? And uh, Paddy says, well, he says, I'm not going to do, he says, what I did for the last three years anyway. And Mick says, what did you do? Well, he says, three years ago, he says, I went to Greece and Mary got pregnant. And two years ago, I went to Italy, and Mary got pregnant. And last year, I went to Spain, and Mary got pregnant. And Mick says, what are you going to do this year? He says, I'm going to take her with me. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> now the stories won't get any better than that one. That's as good as they'll be.